What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to reset your device, your iPhone, iPad or iPod, if you forgot the passcode from your device. For that, we're going to use a software called PassFab iPhone Unlocker, which is a sponsor of this video. So if you want to bypass the MDM, or if you want to remove the screen time passcode because you forgot it, or even the lock screen passcode because you forgot it, or you mistyped it a few times and your device is now locked for days or even for months, because as you probably know, if you mistype your passcode, you get it wrong a couple of times, it starts increasing the time you have to wait. And I even saw devices with like years of waiting. So if you want to reset that and you do know your password for your Apple ID, then you're all good. We're going to use iPhone Unlocker here and that's easily fixed. The tool is available for both Windows and Mac OS and it's pretty simple to use. There is a free trial available and you can easily remove the passcode or fix the iPhone or iPad is disabled or Face ID can't be recognized or even the fact that the screen is broken and it doesn't allow you to type your passcode anymore. So let's go ahead and check it out. So at first, once you get the PassFab iPhone locker here, you're going to have to go here to unlock iOS screen. If you want to remove the screen time passcode, the one for the limitations though, you go in here. Both of them are available here on this tool. We're going to go here and of course it shows the normal screen. This is what you would see. So it says in here, removing the screen lock will erase all data on this device. After removal is successful, you can use the backup to restore the device. So do keep in mind that if you don't have a backup, it will be pretty bad because all the data will be lost. However, you do get to use your device again if you forgot your passcode. And no, please don't use this for stolen devices and so on. It will be asked for the iCloud activation after you restore it. So do keep that in mind. This is not going to bypass iCloud. This is just going to remove the passcode and it will ask you for the iCloud to prove that you are the owner. So I'm going to go here on next and of course it shows you how to put your device in recovery mode. So it gives you here the details for everything. In my case, the tutorial that works is basically the one for the iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. You choose your device from there. So I'm going to put the device in recovery mode by holding the power button and the volume down. All right, so at this point I am in recovery mode. Just follow the instructions in there. And it says in here that the device is iPod 9. 9.1, which is correct, and it says in here iOS version is 14.7.1. At this point, it will download the software matching this device and it will restore the device. So I'm going to press download in here. We're going to wait for it to complete. It will take some time, it can take about 10 minutes or so, depending how fast your connection is, it may go even longer, but once it downloads, I'm gonna be right back. So as you can see, the download is almost complete in here, just a couple more seconds, and there we go. So once the download has been completed, we go here to firmware downloaded successfully, and we have the start remove button. Do not disconnect your device. And another important thing to mention is that your device should have enough power, at least 50% battery is recommended, though I do recommend to charge it completely before doing this. And do keep in mind that after this procedure, your device will be updated to the latest version. It's unfortunate, but that's how it goes. So if you want a jailbreak, it's unfortunate, but you're going to have to wait for the next jailbreak. And yes, we get a warning again about the fact that all the data will be removed from the device. You will be able to restore a backup, but that's about it. If you don't have a backup, that's unfortunate. So I'm going to press start remove here, and it says verifying, and at this point you don't have to do anything. It's basically one click. You're just going to have to wait for it to complete, and your device might reboot a couple of times, but there is not much you need to do. It will do everything automatically in here. Just monitor the screen here and it's going to say exactly what's going on. Currently it's verifying. So as I said, your device will reboot a couple of times, but you don't have to touch it, don't unplug it, don't do anything. So I'm going to be right back once this completes in here. Right now it's unpacking the firmware, which may take a couple of minutes. All right, so it says screen lock removed successfully. And of course, at this point, everything is done. You press done in here and that's it. So right now you can see I have the device in here and it shows the hello screen. Screen. You press home in here and now we have to configure the device. We select the language, we select the country and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything in here. So as you can see, it says in here, it may take a few minutes to activate your device. Of course, now if you had iCloud, it would have asked you for your iCloud account. So you need to know that. And then I'm going to go here to continue and we have to set up the device normally. You can see it shows create a passcode. So we can create a brand new passcode. I'm going to say 0000. I'm going to change it later off camera and I'm just going to go through all the setup in here. It's a little bit long but I'm gonna skip through it like this so yeah so I'm gonna press agree here on the terms and conditions and continue and continue again. And then of course, I'm not gonna share any audio recordings and then don't share in here, continue and that's it. So as you can see, the device now works fine and you can use it, no more passcode and stuff like that. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. I'm GeoSnow. Till the next time, subscribe, stay updated and peace out.